Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. How's it going? Sherry here with an impromptu reading. I don't know, I just felt drawn to sit down and do a reading. Um, actually for anyone who might be feeling ghosted at the moment. It's a really strong energy of, wow, this is happening again. So please give us a special message in that regard. I think I'll do a uh, probably a Celtic wing. All right, so let's begin then. What's in the present position? Follow your heart. Confusion. Yeah, just like uh, Dorothy here, Wizard of Oz. You, you want to go in a certain direction. You feel guided to go, you know, to follow your heart, but at the same time, you don't know if it's an illusion or if it's real. So a lot of confusion. Um, needing answers and direction. Well, not necessarily direction. I'm feeling that you know where you want to go. You're, you're, you feel love in your heart, but things just aren't working out the way that you hope they would. You know, you're, you're feeling ghosted. Okay, so what is in as a foundation? Two of Wands. So there was an expansion. You you felt that this door was open to this incredible new life. Um, you know, you really felt a connectedness and oneness with, uh, with all. So that's what you're standing on is this sense of, well, this door is open. You know, there's a, a beginning of a new adventure, but I, I'm confused. I'm lost. I don't know what to do here. Okay, so the past position, Nine of Swords. So you've been thinking a lot about this. It's consumed your thoughts. You're probably having a hard time sleeping at night. Uh, but it is a self-imposed prison, right? You can release yourself from this if you just face your fears or cut out those things aren't, that aren't good for you. So, um, you know, Nine does mean that something, you know, that's coming to an end. Uh, you're almost there, whatever's troubling you, um, it will end soon. So what is it that you want? The Mother Earth. So this is a very stable, financially successful woman who loves to create a beautiful home. She's a mother, she's very giving, she can juggle many things at once. Um, she's got her shit together. This is what you want. You want stability. You want this feeling of groundedness and success in the 3D reality. What is in the near future? The King of Pentacles. So this could represent you or it could represent um, an older person, male, in your life. Uh, both of these cards are Earth, so they could be Earth signs. So. This could be, you know, some type of, you know, financial stability. This person has achieved, you know, greatness, basically. Everything he touches turns to gold. So this could be you. Um, you know, what you want is the Queen of Pentacles to be that giving, um, nurturing type of person. And instead you get one step higher, which is you know, financial freedom and abundance and, you know, just feeling successful, high achievement. Or it could mean that you come in contact with somebody who is like this and offers you that stability. <clears throat> okay, so what are you resisting? The high priest. So this is somebody who is looking for answers. Um, so they're trusting their intuition or they're, they're looking deep within themselves into the subconscious mind, paying attention to cues 
You know, so maybe you feel that there's something that's not being said to you. You're not being told the entire truth. So what you're resisting is using your intuition. And, you know, even, you know, that's the answer right now is to, you know, whatever those nagging thoughts are in the back of your mind, listen to them. You know, if something doesn't feel right, listen to that. And here we have follow your heart, right? So maybe the time now is not necessarily to follow your heart, but to follow your intuition. Okay, and so what do you feel internally? You're at a crossroads, you're stuck. You feel like you need to make a decision, right? And it's echoing the, the Seven of Cups there. So there is a choice between what you want and what you feel obligated to do. So again, use your intuition. Um, if you feel guided to go in a certain direction, then go ahead and do that. Disconnect yourself, right? The, the next card would be the three of swords, which is heartbreak. So maybe you need to make a decision to cut your, your ties from this person who continues to ghost. You know, the door is open, there's opportunity there for a beautiful life. Um, but it just seems to be stuck. So use your intuition, uh, follow your, your guide, make the choice that is best for you. There seems to be some type of op opportunity that's coming, so um, maybe the time is to focus on the 3D reality, on creating that long-term stability for yourself. Okay, and so what will you get? The ego, devil. What you want is Mother Earth. What you get is the ego. Um, so this is a chain, a burden, something uh, holding you down, something that is not good for you, something that's toxic, okay, that's robbing you of your energy. And as long as this thing is chained to your leg, you're always going to be stuck, confused. What happened? Where did he go? What did I do? Um, obviously, you have to make that decision on your own to cut the chain, cut your losses. Okay, so what is in your external environment? The Nine of Cups, dreams fulfilled. So... It, uh, externally, I just noticed there's two nines on either side here. Um, externally, you feel that your dreams can come true, that you can achieve what you desire, that you can have it all, that you can be happy, that you can celebrate life. Or, you know, this card could also represent um, somebody who doesn't really care. They're off doing their own thing, uh, enjoying their life. You know. So I'm just going to actually pull one clarifier card for that. So just a reminder, my cards are available for purchase. Um, so just the deck itself is $75. I'm also adding um, these little clarifier cards for purchase as well, uh, which is an extra $5 if you would like. Um, you can also add a reading to that. Uh, so the, with the reading, it's a hundred dollars. So I'm thinking of you know increasing that uh, a bit. So you know if you want to get the reading at the cheaper price, probably now would be a good time to order. <clears throat> so um, yeah, because a normal twin flame reading is like sixty dollars. So right now, you know with the cards, it's only twenty dollars. So that's super good um, value there. All right. So what do you mean by the ego? I actually want to pull three cards for some reason. Uh, and I want to say there's no specific timeline with them. They're all come together as one. All right. So we have the Four of Cups, stagnation, boredom, feeling disconnected. And this is also my ghosting card. So 
the these are the energies attached to the ego right there's a sense of you know longing for something that isn't there anymore or this could be you turning your back on somebody if you're the ghoster the page of pentacles is sitting down committing to long-term goal so it kind of shows me that you are trying to ignore the the devil even though it's always standing behind you you don't want to be in that longing looking out the window kind of energy but so instead you're focusing on the 3d reality you know um, creating a beautiful life for yourself creating some type of stability within yourself and in the 3d reality and also we have the high priestess so what you will get is the high priestess using your intuition um, not being lulled or pulled back into the ego um, you know love yourself uh, really look at your talents and what you've achieved already you know there's a sense that you will be acknowledged for your talents um, abundance will come towards you or an opportunity but just follow your intuition don't listen to those whispers in your ear all right so i'm actually just going to pull one clarifier here from my smaller deck i just want to know what the king of pentacles means oh hey geez chill out okay so toxic people and there's two other cards that are flipped upside down so stay and laziness wow toxic people stay and laziness so Whenever I see the, the King of Pentacles, I feel this heavy energy like this tree, this old um, tree that's been around for thousands of years and it's not going anywhere. There's so much stability there, groundedness. And so when we see this toxic people stay in laziness, the stay in laziness, I feel kind of points towards that heavy not going anywhere type of energy and so but you know when you have that to toxic element there you need to make that decision to move to in a different direction uh and the king of pentacles does not want to do that he he's achieved everything that he wants to achieve he feels successful so it's like teaching an old dog new tricks it's really hard to do it's really hard to change your ways and move on so like you're stuck in your ways but again there's this toxic element this person who ghosts you and leaves you standing there confused in the dust right you feel this commitment to this person like you've invested a great deal in them but in reality they're the the you know this devil energy sucking you dry basically right you're investing too much emotional um too much of yourself in it okay so what is at the foundation not the foundation sorry the um summary outcome sacral chakra so there's a blockage in your emotions or your relationships your connections with other people so that's a beautiful summary of the, of the reading yes of course that's what's being said here you feel blocked you feel um, like you can't move forward that you want to heal the relationships you know the door is open there but um, you, you just you know there's that disconnect you can't um, close the door on it I guess. So I'm just going to pull a clarifier. There you go. The devil again. The ego. Um, almost, I kind of hear the words like, you need to win. 
even though the Five of Swords is in here, there's this internal battle within yourself to, to cut the chain because you don't want to feel like you've lost, you know, on some level, I don't know. Okay, so what is the final outcome? Base chakra, you know, I forgot to look at the bottom of the deck, I'll do that in a second. So base chakra is safety, security, uh, sustenance, shelter, all the S's. So I believe that you achieve this sense of security. You cut your ties and it's like you're beginning anew. Um, I'm going to pull a little cluster of cards here see what they say. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is somebody who will cut off themselves emotionally. Or she, it looks like there's something that she needs to say and it's probably not going to be very nice. Uh, Seven of Wands is somebody who's very defensive, who speaks up, says what's on their mind. So the two of the cards together, it's like um, there's this need to speak up and cut this person out. Um, say some things that have been on your mind, I guess, get them off your chest. Um, whatever needs to be done to release yourself from that situation, because it is toxic, it's not good, you need to move forward. In doing so, you get this, this beautiful sun card, which is a brand new beginning, you know, it reduces down to one, it's so much power, freedom, it's, you know, it's, uh, like a newborn baby, a resounding yes, it's the most positive card. Coupled with your independence, which is the Nine of Pentacles, you want the Mother Earth card, which resonates very much with this Nine of Pentacles, very similar energies. You get your independence, your freedom, your success. Um, you know, independence, keep, that word just keeps screaming at me. Okay, and then the King of Cups, you find that balance, that emotional balance, and a deep love of self, especially these two cards together. This is self-love. This is somebody who's emotionally balanced and loves themselves. So yeah, there's, you need to cut your ties, say what you need to say, and move the fuck on. And it seems to me that's what you do. And there's this beautiful seed that starts growing within yourself as this base chakra here. Um, that builds to the point where you, you know, you bloom into this beautiful flower, I guess, I don't know, or tree. <laughs> okay, so, um, and I almost want to pull one card also from Romance Angels by Dorian, Dorian Virtue. Okay. Make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps your guide is to take. So, yeah, that I'm not feeling like making an effort to go towards somebody, but making an effort to take those steps that you're, you're guided to take, to release yourself from that toxic connection. Oh, hold on, i got to grab my book here. Because if somebody is ghosting you, that means they don't have enough respect to talk to you, to, you know, clear things up, to, um, you know, there's just no respect there. That's not love. That's manipulation. That's somebody who is, you know, just a coward and who is a player. Um, you know, that's not a true twin flame connection. Okay, making the effort, L-O-M-N-O-P. All right. All right, so it says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You receive this card because some action steps on your part are necessary in order for your prayers about your love life to be answered, oh my God. The angels have opened the doors for you. 
Uh, and now it's time for you to walk through them. Yeah. The first thing that comes to mind with respect to taking action is a good starting place for you. When you ask for spiritual help, you always receive it. Often this help comes in the form of intuitive guidance, right? And you got the high priest twice, which consists of repetitive feelings and thoughts. You get the sense that you should do this or do that, right? That's what I said. You receive this card as a nudge to actually take that action. You'll then receive the next piece of the puzzle, meaning another intuitive message about what to do. If you like, you can ask the angels to give you the motivation, courage, time, and energy to take these steps. Know that each one brings you closer upon the pathway to great love. Right, exactly. If you're able to walk away from that, let go of that energy, that toxic energy, um, true love will enter your life. Okay, so I do hope this helps somebody out there. I love you guys so much. All right, cheers.